It's Friday night, you're bored, you finish your favorite show again, and you're like, what now? Then your friend says, hey, I just watched this new series and it's super good. You definitely love it. But wait, why would you love it? Well, let's think about it. You and your friend both loved Cocoa Melon, both binged Peppa Pig in two days, and both cried during Bluey. So if they like something new, odds are you will too. This is called collaborative filtering. There are two main types of collaborative filtering, user-based and item-based, and they both rely on one core concept. Users with similar tastes tend to like similar things. Let's go through both types with the math. So the idea of user-based collaborative filtering is to find users similar to you and recommend what they have already liked but you haven't seen yet. So let's create a matrix for you and your friends' ratings at different TV shows. First, we find similarity using cosine similarity or Pearson correlation using these formulas. Cosine similarity more so compares your taste direction, not magnitude. Pearson correlation checks if you like or dislike the same things relative to your own average. Once we know similarity, we predict your rating with this formula. It's a weighted average of ratings from users like you, weighted on how similar they are to you. Now for item-based collaborative filtering, instead of finding similar users, we find similar items to the ones you've already liked. If you liked movie A, and movie B is similar to movie A based on how others have rated them, then we recommend movie B. We are going to use the same matrix as before, but now we're going to compute similarity with the items, which are now the column. Then, we just use the same formulas for weighted averages again. So yeah, what Netflix says recommended for you, it's not guessing. It's using linear algebra and similarity scores to read your mind. Sort of. Follow for more explanations like this one.